Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you Tupolino Escura DS10 and DS15 for 6 pins only. From the start I'm saying that uh, the decoder is not suitable for uh, Escura DS10 and 15 with 5 pins, so 6 pins only. DS10 has uh, 2 rows of pins, both active. DS15, two rows, one passive and one active. This is how the decoder comes to you. You have a reset tool, reset cap, and additional tension. Now I'm gonna show both locks. I'm gonna start with uh, DS15. One active, one passive. Here on the back you have spare pins, eight of them. Later in this video there is going to be a section with uh, how to change the pins. Now, to reset you have to first prepare the tool. You can see that uh, the bottom here, whenever you pull it and you push it, there is a sliding uh, element which protects the pins. So whenever you're about to reset the pins, the button should be slided back. You'll see an arrow here and an arrow here. You simply insert all the way in. And the specific thing here is that whenever you reset, this is the angle. So it's not straight on top of 90 degrees it's a little bit like this so you push them all the way in this is how the pins should look like the tool is now ready to be inserted inside the lock you slide the button up towards the blade and it's ready. Now this is the tension. <clears throat> the tension is always positioned on the left uh, on the left side because you know the pins are positioned on the right. So we insert it like like this up. This is how you insert it and you slide the button all the way to the end. Now, it's very important to mention, this is where I will apply tension. Not here, only here. Once up, once down. Once up, once down. So, I start the pumping tension here. Up, right, neutral, release. Tension down, right, neutral, release. medium amount of tension here gently it's important whenever you go right to, re to re uh, return it back in neutral position this way you release the pins from the tension Now the faster you perform it, the faster it will be opened. It's fully unlocked now. Now, <clears throat> to extract straight, this is the straight neutral position, you slide up and you extract. Keeps the code because here we have independently sliding pins inserted back gently. You slide up uh, the, uh, back towards the handle, and you have again the code is there. So, unlike the foil, which you may open or you may not open, it also keeps the code. Let's uh, the key 
fully functional as I said here on the DS15 one active and one passive roll of pins now in the next session I'm gonna show DS10 okay DS10 two active rolls of pins the procedure is quite the same you slide back arrow to arrow you reset again look at the angle pins insert again on the left side slide up gently insert slide back start the tension up and down up and down and here only to the right the good thing about the cupolino is that you can start the procedure extract the tool see what's happening and then insert it back in and proceed Full turn, extract. This is very diverse code. Now insert it back in gently. I don't want to mess my code. And that's it. I suggest you go a few times more with tension down and then right. You can, of course, go once up and once down, but as you saw, I was like <coughs> concentrating on the tension down. This is not a must. So, Tupolino suitable for Escura, DS10, DS15, six pins only. In the next part, how to change the spare pins. Okay, in this part, changing a pin. So from the beginning, the posi the uh, where you can find the spare pins is on the back. With the help of the reset tool, you extract the cap. Inside, you will find a small plastic bag with uh, eight spare pins. It's uh, good to do it on a white uh, piece of paper because otherwise they're very small and you risk losing them let's now extract one okay this is the, the, the correct position You will need some set of uh, tweezers. And then with the help of the reset tool, you're simply gonna push it in. If positioned correctly, it should fall in its place. You can do it with a ordinary mechanical oil. You can drop, uh, you can drop a cap do it a few times just to make sure uh, it has the perfect traction so uh, don't forget that the button should always be slided back towards the handle so this is how to change and how to how to change a pin and how to operate with Tupulino Escura DS10 DS15